We're going to be talking about today, we're going to be talking obviously about Saturday's game, that incredible performance by Arsenal, and we will also be discussing tomorrow's game, that tough task against Dortmund last year's finals in the Champions League. Along with my panel of, uh, well, top gooners here, we're going to run through them. We've got Luca. How you doing, Luca? Yes, I'm good, Robbie. Brilliant. Uh, James Farley. Oh, we lost James. Uh, Grant. Hello. I'm Grant, all about Arsenal. How you doing? <laughs> good, thanks. Brilliant. I'm going to start off with you, Grant, first of all, to ask you, what did you think of the performance on Saturday, 4-1, but all the talk was about the goals that were scored in the game. Um, I'm going to start off by asking you about that goal by Jack Wilshere. What did you uh, think of that incredible goal? It was amazing goal. Like, I've watched it at least like 500 times since. And like today at work, the first thing like, I said to everybody today at work was like, did you see that goal? Did you see that goal? I mean, it was just the most amazing goal. One of the best team goals I've seen in years. I mean, I, I honestly like, it's like a magic trick every time I watch it. Like, I still don't actually understand how Giroud and Jack managed to control the ball together. It was just so quick. You know, I slowed it down on the sky, we wound it, trying to figure out how they'd done it. It was just mm. absolutely an amazing goal, and I love seeing it. And it just reminded me of Arsenal old, and it just brought back all these memories. And I just love seeing it so much. Like, I'm, you know, it's like I'm a little kid at Christmas when I see that goal now. I just love it. It's just amazing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, watching watch watch the uh, goal live at the game is one of those goals that everything worked so much to perfection that I was just expecting um, the linesman to flag and say <laughs> it was offside or someone to say no. <laughs> but, I mean, it was just an, uh, such an amazing goal. Now, how did Jack manage to keep the composure at the end to just finish that little one-touch finish from um, uh, Grant? I mean, how did he... I I don't, know, I, don't, I, I don't actually understand how he knew that Giroud would do that touch to, to the ball he played into him. Because I, I didn't think that... You, the thinking time, my thinking time, is not that quick. The fact, you know, Giroud flicked the ball and, and Wilshire already knew that the ball was coming to him. And that was just amazing. I mean, like you say, like, at the game, it's like, it, was so, it was like so real. They thought, like, it took a while to actually sink in what you just realised, what just happened. Mm. It was just absolutely... I, mean, I don't know how Jack managed to do it, but he saw the ball and the composure to finish was just as well, you know, it was as good as the touches and the build-up. It was just an outstanding goal. Mm. I mean, Luca, you, same question to you. I mean, when, what, such an incredible goal. I mean, you, you could looking at it again, it's like one of those goals where you had to keep looking back at it and back at it and thinking, it. I know there was a lot of people looking at that goal and thinking to themselves, ah, oh, it must have been some sort of fluke along the way. But there wasn't nothing fluky about it. It was pure skill. Now, Luca, what what did you think looking at it? Um, I think it was amazing, and also including the performance. Jack Walsh's goal was amazing. I watched it like every day, like what Grant said. He watched it five hundred times, and uh, some if some of the passing was brilliant because all are linking up with Özil and Wilshere, and also the best team goals. Some of the goals were magical and stylish, and just remind me of Dennis Burkamp's goal. And yeah, but even better. Brilliant, brilliant. Just before I go to uh, James there, we've got somebody uh, new on today. We've got Lewis. How you doing, Lewis? You there, Lewis? Can you hear me? <laughs> Lewis just sorting his headphones out. All right, whilst, whilst Lewis is sorting his headphones out, let me go to you, James. That goal, Jack Wilshire's goal. I mean, James, what awesome goal. Me, yeah, it was a... It was a uh... He's on the move. He's on the move. Sorry, I had to evacuate. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, it was a. He was a really good goal. Um, <laughs> it, it was one of those goals where you. Are you trying? Are you trying to? Oh, you, I, I didn't actually. I thought, I thought for a minute that what you were going to do, you were going to show us the goal live. <laughs> no, I didn't. Stop about. I was expecting you to lay off a flick to your brother or something. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, no. Um, tell us, uh, tell us about the goal, Jake. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was, I didn't actually see, I wasn't watching the match live, so obviously I heard about it and stuff. Um, I thought that it was one of those goals where you didn't know if it was real or not, and it was just so, I haven't really got anything to say. Both both uh, people that have done it, uh, made it justice. I think that, um, though, Jack Wilsh's 
flick thing. I don't think it was. It was one of those things where you sort of, if if if, if it come off, it was good. <coughs> it's like one of those once in a blue moon sort of goals. It was just everything, Ooh. everything that they tried to do. Well, uh, let me let me see if I can get to we've got. Uh... Someone new on. We've got Lewis. Can you hear me, there, Lewis? Lewis, can you hear me? All right, we can't sit, we can't get no audio with uh, Lewis at the moment. But um, now apparently there's been a goal that's been scored today um, in a Fulham versus Crystal Palace game um, by Kasami. Is uh, someone here? Simply Solomon. He says uh, some people are saying that Kasami's goal is better. And I I understand that was like an individual. Um, sort of goal, but you saw that goal, Grant. Which goal yeah. do you think was better, a goal by Kasami tonight or Jack Wilshere's goal on Saturday? Um, Wilshere's, I think it was a bit of luck for the goal today. I think Wilshere's the best goal ever scored in the history of football. No bias or anything. <laughs> wow. I mean, and, and to, talking of goals, I mean, what about the goal by Aaron Ramsey? I mean, Oh. On any other day, we would have been raving about that goal, but that was an astonishing goal as well. Yeah, I mean, it just reminded me literally of Thierry Henry and that, that Bergkamp goal against Leicester. I mean, his touch and composure, um, it was just amazing. I mean, I love it how, you know, he took it one way and the player dived in, and he took it the other way and the other player dived in, and he still had the ability to finish. I mean, this guy is totally on fire, and it, it's not down to luck or fluke that he's scoring these goals. Is down to that to show that his class and ability has improved so much in the last few weeks and over the summer, and he did that. It was, just, it was literally a class goal. Um, jo jo Jamil Rahimi here says um, he said he's tried the goal on FIFA 14, but it's too difficult. Right? He's been trying to <laughs> emulate it. That's how bad. Um, and uh, Arsene Wenger 13 said it's a PlayStation goal, like Özil said. Um, wow, well, I'll tell you, that, that goal was uh, simply amazing. I mean, Luca, same question to you as well about the um, the goal by Aaron Ramsey <coughs> and how good Aaron Ramsey has been this season. Aaron Ramsey, the goal was brilliant. It was just great philosophy, good composer, and um, he has really improved a lot. And um, since when he had that leg injury from, when was it, three years ago or so, Ramsey has come back, he's listened to the manager, Arsene Wenger, and he showed that what, what he's good enough to play, and uh, he's shown what he's a really good player. Let me see again. Uh, let me try again for Lewis. Lewis, can you hear me? Hello, yeah, but I've got it all fixed now. you got it all fixed now. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad that you could join the Hangout. Tell us yeah, about, where are you right. from first, mate? Where, where are you from? Uh, I live in a place called Seven Years near Cambridge. Yeah. Oh, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Now I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna ask you the same question, Lewis. I've been asking the other guys. What did you think of that Jack Wilshere goal on Saturday? Oh, it was just it was a goal. It was just out of this world, really. You can't, you're never gonna see a goal like that in a very very long time, and if you do, it'll just be from us. Uh, I mean, it all started from Jack Wilshere. That was the, that was the beauty of it, and he finished it off. Yeah. And you know, credit to all the players. And Ozil wasn't even involved. No, <laughs> that's the, that's the thing. Uh, Ozil wasn't even. Involved in the goal. Um, one player who was involved in the goal was uh, Santi Corzola. And how good was it to have him back, Lewis? No, was, we were all waiting for it for a long, long time. To see them two playing together, it was just... I mean, he's not back to his best yet. But only he's still a bit lacking match fitness. But when he's there, them two are going to be different for us. And, and the Aaron Ramsey goal? Oh, it's just... You know when I read a quote, somebody said, it was like, when a kid's just better than everybody else in the playground... <laughs> it was just one of them sort of goals. He said them all flying and his composure. I mean, a year ago, did anyone have predicted how Ramsey would rise like this? Yeah, I, you know what? I was just about to say that to you, right? I was going to ask you that as well. That, you know, I, I know the other guys uh, on the panel quite regularly that they're on, and I, I, I know that last year we were having a lot of debate about Aaron Ramsey. Me, personally, I was saying, you know what? We might have to send him out on loan because he just wasn't delivering. I didn't want to get rid of him. But I thought to myself, maybe we need to send him out on loan to Cardiff or somewhere and let him get his game back. But wow, has he come back. I mean, how did you feel about him last season? Did you always feel that he'd get his game back? Well, I think the problem was he was playing too many games when he shouldn't have been. 
Because, I mean, Wenger, all credit to him, had a lot of faith in him, but he was coming on to games and he wasn't really doing much for the team. I mean, maybe it's helped him become this sort of player, but, I mean, I remember I remember he came on before and I was cursing that him and Javino both came on, but now he's made us all look silly around him. Even Javino's making us look silly on Bonima. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, I mean, do we, do we all have to sort of say to ourselves, um, Arsene Wenger has really, he's really got it right with Ramsey because he did show a lot of faith in Ramsey, he's stuck by Ramsey and now the guy is just, I mean, 